Ki Muli Ra Kun King. Tong Hi Duama Akti Tiko Tung. I don't like the sound of this. Chi Wi Aita Ka Chong Chi Cha. Agi Inko Tune Chuna Muli Ra. Chi Wa Ka Aita Kang Ki Cha Na Chuper Nipo. Kun Muli Ra Slimo Boy Wanga Tong Hi Duama Ji. Pampa ki muli ra kun ki Cha skron ki to pats nemo Chi ita kan ki chan na kilikon Kin ba muli ra dwana ji Kin ba no kun Cha skron ki to pats nemo Chi ita kan ki chan na kilikon Kin ba muli ra dwana ji Damn it, Griff! Won't you ever learn? How can my own flesh and blood be so stupid? Chi wa e aita kan ki cha na chupor nipo Kun muli ra slimo poi wanga Hey there, what can I do for you? I want to thank you for helping me with Griff You, you did everything you could for my brother More than most people would have I know it might look like it didn't make any difference in the end Griff's in debt and on the run like usual. But at least I know we tried to help him. Don't worry. I see all Griff's faults plainly now. None of us is perfect, but I realize he's a little less perfect than most. My brother is what he is, but I've learned to deal with that. I'll never forget that he looked after me when I was just a kid, but I don't feel like I owe him anything anymore. I've made my peace with Griff and what he means to me. If he ever shows up again, I'll deal with him. But I'm not going to dwell on my brother anymore. It's time to move forward. So, is there anything else you need? Okay, have it your way. Got something on your mind? Did I say that? Strange the trick's memory plays on you when you get older. Didn't I say that my past was my affair? You don't see me poking and prodding you with questions, do you? I'm not here to satisfy your curiosity. No staring at the old man, that's what the sign says, damn it. And besides, you don't really want to hear about me. We're talking ancient history. Probably before you were born. History bores kids. Proven fact. Oh, fine, fine. Have it your way. Just don't cry about it later. Yes, yes, I was an adventurer. Happy now? I wasn't even done with my Jedi training back then. I had a full head of hair and an eagerness to see absolutely everything. Sound familiar? The Council was never happy with willful, brash Jolie Bindo, you see. Even less so when I began my smuggling career. Don't look at me like that, damn it! I wasn't always the wrinkled coot I am now, you know. I can still fight, too. So wipe off that smirk I see there. At the time, the Yukata system was interdicted by its own king. He preferred to keep his people starving and poor. All the better to oppress them. The Senate was trying to negotiate a peace. But they were getting nowhere as usual. I decided I wasn't going to wait. I found myself a ship and a partner, and we began smuggling food and supplies to the Yukata citizenry through the blockade. Well, we didn't buy all the equipment, per se. Some were happy to donate goods. Some we just uh, knew had more than they could use. Stole is such a harsh word. They would have donated those goods readily enough if they were compassionate. I considered it a tax on the greedy. We only got caught once. A lone Yukatish frigate shot us down and forced a crash landing. I thought the force had abandoned me, as I remember. Well, as it happens, getting shot down turned out to be very fortunate. That day was the day I... Well, that... That was the day I met my wife. 
You know another way to get a wife? But yes, that's when I met her. I... If it's all the same to you, I'd prefer to stop talking now. My mouth is starting to draw flies. Yes. What is it? I was remembering Taris. It was a horrible place to have to live. At least in the lower cities where the non-humans tended to get relegated. Living for years in a place with no sun, living off the trash dropped from the upper levels, and the meager pay doing back-breaking labor. There was always the danger of raccoons coming up from the sewers, or more mundane predators living and working in the area. My family and I struggled each and every day to make something of our lives. But we could only go so far. Taxes from the corrupt government, more fees from the gangs controlling the streets, and whatever was left paying for what food and medical supplies we could afford. It did not, but only because of the Jedi who came. It was very bad, with no money to spare for any amenities. Even the Enclave on Dantooine seems a paradise in comparison. And of course, there was the constant bigotry and hate from the more affluent and human citizens, lording their wealth over us living below. Every once in a while, a rich human would come down through the lower levels with his droid entourage just to see how the wildlife lived and laughed at the mockeries that were our successes. But I have come to meet many decent humans in my travels since those days. Indeed, some of the greatest people I have ever met are human. The Jedi who encouraged me to join the Order the one who was with the group going to fight the Mandalorians. She was human. I am sorry. I am getting away from my point. If there even was one. Sometimes, I curse the day my parents fled to Taris. But then again, if they had not, I would not be where I am today. Another story for another time. For now, we must continue our own epic. To save the galaxy, if we can. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? What is it you would like to speak to me about? Well, I mentioned before that my parents had fled to Taris. Perhaps I can tell you about that. No, they were not. Having fled the birth world of my species, my parents flew as far and wide as they could. And so I was raised alone. Knowing of my birthplace only the few stories my parents could tell, and seeing no other member of my species at all. It all comes back to wars and fighting. The curse of your race, it seems. In the early days of the Mandalorian War, there had been fighting closer to the Outer Rim worlds. Cathar was there, yes. My people had a great reputation as warriors, and that appealed to the Mandalore version of honor. They sought to test themselves against us, I think. Test themselves by bombing our world, slaughtering my people while they slept or while they ran. They swooped down from space across the world, firing at anything that moved. They used ships in space to destroy all orbital facilities and bombard the surface. We did resist, and in spite of their violent attack, we did stave them off for quite a while. But in the end, we were doomed. We were not members of the Republic. Cathar was beyond the edge of the Republic, in the Outer Rim. And besides, they could not have known. Our interstellar communications were the first things the Mandalores hit. All other short-range communicators were jammed. We were on our own. We knew what was coming. We had fought the Mandalorians in the first war against Exar Kun and the Sith. We knew there would be no mercy for us. The most we could do was pack the few of our people who survived onto what few ships remained, and send them off into space as fast as they could. Most did not make it. 
My parents carried me as a baby with them and were lucky enough to escape. They fled as far as they were able and eventually settled on Taras. They could stand running no further, I think. But Taras was a horrible choice. Dominated by humans, intolerant of other species, it made everyday life unnecessarily hard. My father... My father turned to stimulants. He spent much of his time in local bars and dives. But we are warriors. It runs through our blood. And when he was on stims, he... he... he became foolish. He let his warrior nature get the best of him. So he would get intoxicated, and he would fight. And finally, one day, he would die. Killed by a man who provoked him into a fight and killed him like an animal. I... I am sorry, I... I cannot talk about this any longer right now. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? What is it you would like to speak to me about? I, I, I thank you for your concern, but I am still a bit shaken. I have been thinking about myself, about Quatra, and about my fall to the dark side. I keep thinking that it was my anger that drove me that far, that nearly damned me. I look inside myself now and I can still see it. I still feel it. I think maybe that I just need more time. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? What is it you would like to speak to me about? After my father died, my mother was left to support me alone. A single, non-human woman, living in one of the worst, most violent slums on Taras. It was not easy for her. When my father was killed, it seemed that something in her began to die as well. She worked. She worked as hard as she was able. But over time, she began to waste away. I later learned that she was unable to get enough money to feed both of us and had to start borrowing from the exchange. A band of cutthroats and smugglers. But even that was not enough. She hid what she was doing from me. She gave most of her food to me so that I would be strong, but she herself was suffering deeply from it. In the end, she could go on no longer, and collapsed at the cantina where she worked one day. She never recovered. There was nothing really that I could do for her. She left me no money, and no doctor would see her without being paid first. I sat by her bed for days as she lay there dying. I never want that to happen to someone I care about ever again. But there was still the money she had borrowed. She had never paid it back and made no provisions for her death. You must understand. The exchange is brutal. They care nothing for the life of a sentient being. They are the major suppliers of slaves on Taras. They thought it would be appropriate that, with my mother owing them money, the debt should be passed on to me. And with no way to pay, they took me by force. You have no idea what it is like to be bound like a beast and treated as such. It was the worst time of my life. They treated me like livestock. They were waiting for a buyer to give them some credits for me when the Jedi came to fight the Mandalorians. The Jedi could not abide by what they saw there, and drove the exchange from the face of the world, freeing those of us imprisoned there. But the Jedi soon left to fight their war, and I was left with a dream. I swore that I would become a Jedi. As soon as I had enough money to do it, I bought passage on a freighter headed for Dantooine, and we both know what has happened since then. I am grateful to you for having given me the opportunity to fulfill my dream, rather than become what I hated. Someday, I may make it up to you, but for now, let us keep on the task at hand.
Agi inko tune kuna muli ra tangi mama jiko na tong ki pa nongku nek abog ki muli ra kun kin tong hi tuama agi inko tune if matos armatas me hod juen pos va el anas armatas ich tos bendis
Smack-toma. Never fall to the dark side. You think torture will turn me, Malik? You're a fool. Torture? No, dear Bastula. You misunderstand. This is but a taste of the dark side to whet your appetite. When you finally swear loyalty to me, it will be willingly. Never. <laughs> Such resolve in your words. But I see the truth in your heart. The dark side calls to you, Bastula. You hunger to taste it. Become my apprentice, and all its power can be yours. <laughs> Transmitting these coordinates to Admiral Dodonna. It'd be a quick strike by the Republic and cripple the Sith fleet. Messages away. Now we can just wait for the Republic to show up. 
should be safe here. We're outside their sensor range. Small vanguard of Sith fighters coming in hard. Someone needs to get on those gun turrets. Take those fighters out before they report our position to the main fleet. We've got problems. We've flown in some kind of disruptor field. All my instruments are jammed. We've got massive overloads in all systems. I'm picking up a single planet in this system. I'll try and put us down there. Hold on. This may be a rough landing. Talk about your rough landings, Karth. What's the matter? You're flying like you've been on an all-night Theresian Ale drinking bench. That disruptor field fried our stabilizers. We're lucky we made it down in one piece. But if I can't find the salvage to make repairs, I won't even be able to get the Ebonhawk airborne again. During our rather rapid descent, I noticed the holes of many crashed ships scattered across the landscape. Perhaps the parts you need can be found among the wreckage. The Cathar's right. This planet's a technological graveyard. I saw dozens of downed ships out there. That disruptor field must have wiped them all out. But where could it be coming from? Even if we get the stabilizers fixed, we have to find and disable the source of that disruptor field before we can take off. Otherwise, we'll just end up crashing again. They must have some kind of protection against it, but the Republic fleet won't. We have to find a way to disable that disruptor field, or the Sith will slaughter them. T3's picking up massive power fluctuations on the ship's sensors. They seem to be coming from some type of large stone structure to the east. It looks like some kind of ancient temple. We haven't forgotten about her, but we can't do her much good stuck down here. We have to help ourselves before we can help her. I only hope we're not too late. Bastila has been Malak's prisoner for a long time. If he can turn her to the dark side, she will join him and the Sith will be invincible. I fear Bastila will find the lure of the dark side difficult to resist. She is strong in the Force, but she is also impulsive, willful, and proud, as you once were, Revan. I am glad to hear you say that. Now that you know your true identity, I was afraid you might slip back over to the dark side. If Bastila feels as you do, there may yet be hope for her. Well, if Bastila's on the Starforge like you think, Jolie, then we can't rescue her until we disable that disruptor field. The sooner we investigate that temple to the east, the better. We can probably find the wreckage of a downed ship along the way. 
But if we're lucky, we can salvage some stabilizers from it to get off this planet. I hope everything works out as smooth as you make it sound, Karth. Well, so do I, Mission. So do I. What is it? Yes?
Da contrastar Mick Gravel Mongo. Cachicho Ita Aldonga. Topa de Bon Guaya Gando de Nago Chocho. Moga Chaponca, Bola Wala Chepne. Pamulis Limo por Alawanga con Bis Mulera Best. Da contrastar Mick Gravel Mongo. Cachicho Ita Aldonga. Topa de Bon Guaya Gando de Nago Chocho. Moga Chaponca, Bola Wala Chepne. Pamulis limo por Alawanga con bis mulera best. Ton hai wam chiki yuma lipta al inko tu. Ton puta bon guaya gando de naga chocho. Ka chicho ita al donga. Yuma lita inko tu. Jelo moran beni bobo. Wango con bis kamba mulera. Ta con josta miki gravel mogo. Ka chicho ita al donga. Ton puta bon guaya gando de naga chocho. Moga chaponga. Bola wala chetne. Pamulis limo por Alawanga con bis mulera best. Ton hai wam chiki yuma lipta ad inko tu. Topo da bon guaya gando de naga chocho. Ka chicho ita au donga. Yuma lita inko tu. Jelo moran beni bobo. Wango con bis kamba mulera. Cha chiki no chawata wama. Kaba volpe molche gumana. Kim kun sha kim. Ne ken un no mulera jikon. Wama kun bes. Chimpala mule tunera la puta. Donke serche doma doma. Ta con jostak miki grabo el moco. Cachicho ita al donga. Tolpa de bon guaya gando de nago chocho. Moga chaponca, bola wala chetne. Pa mulis limo por alawanga con bis mule rabest. Ton hai wam chiki yuma lipta ad inko tu. Tolpa da bon guaya gando de naga chocho. Ka chicho ita au donga. Yuma lita inko tu. Jelo moran beni bobo. Wango kumbis kamba molera. Ta con josta miki grabo mogo. Ka chicho ita au donga. Tolpa da bon guaya gando de naga chocho. Moga chaponca. Bola wala chetne. Pa mulis limo por alawanga kumbis molera best. Ton hai wam chiki yuma lipta ad inko tu. Tolpa da bon guaya gando de naga chocho. Ka chicho ita au donga. Yuma lita inko tu. Jelo moran beni bobo. Wango kumbis kamba molera. Rondi hau donga ku honga bi. Wala kumbes. Cheng pala mule ton king pa no konke. Ka chicho ita au donga. Yin ki kuno ba mulira chiko. Ta kon jostak miki grabo moko. Ka chicho ita au donga. Tolpa de bo. Ta kon jostak miki grabo moko. Ka chicho ita au donga. Ka chicho ita au donga. Yin ki kuno ba mulira. Ton hai wam chiki yuma lipta ad inko tu. Tolpa da bo kwalia gando de naga chiko. Ta con josta miki grabo el moco. Ka chicho ita au donga. Tolpa de bon guaya. Ton hai wap chiki yuma lipta ad inko tu. Tolpa da bon guaya gando de naga chocho. Ton ga bu cha bu neno. Wanga kun biske. Ba mulera. Chunyon tu un chiki ite tuana. Ka be volpe molche goma na. Tompa kupa ye mok pada. Bona nae kachu. Ye ki kun no ba muli rachi kun. Tung na pong shong nong yang. Kaval bol pe mol je guman na. Tung na bun sha kun neno. Wanga kun biske. Ba muli ra. Chun yong tung jiji ite tuana. Kaval bol pe mol je guman na. Kachicho ita ho tonga. Yin ki kuno ba mulira chikon. Slimo putona. Ronde hao donga ku honga bi. Ronde hao donga ku honga bi. Wala kumbes. Cheng pala muli ton king ba no kong king. Tuk nin ta chokun. Ne mulira best. Ka chicho ita ho donga. Yin ki kuno ba mulira chikon. Slimo putona. Ronde hao donga ku honga bi. Ta kong josta kumi ki grabo moko. Cachicho ita au donga. Tolpa de bon guaya gando de nago chocho. Moga chaponca, bola wala chetne. 
kwa Mulis Limo kuna na wanga kumbis mula rabes. Tonga iwa mchiki yuma lipta at inkoktu. Toto tako wali agan. Tako mjostak miki grabo moko. Kachicho ita haudonga. Tolpa të bon kuar një kanë do të nalë. Rondi hëllë do nga ku hëllë nga vi, wala kumbes, qenë para mëllë të në kënë pa në kënë kënë. Tuk një të që kënë, në mëllë rëra besë. Ka që që i të hëllë nga, jenë kënë ku në pa mëllë rëra që kënë. Se më po të nalë, rondi hëllë do nga ku hëllë nga vi. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sure.
Tata Kotonga, Tolpa de Bongwa, le Gardo de Nago Jojo, Moga Chaponka, Bola Wana Chetne, Pamulis Limo, Bola Wanga, Kumbis, Mule la Best. Tonga et Bam Chiki Yuma Lita, à Inkoto, Tolpa de Bongwa, le Gardo de Naga Jojo, Kachicho Ita, Tau Donga, Yuma Lita, Inkoto, Jelo Moral, Benubo, Wango Kumbis Kamba, Molera. Rondi Haldonga Kuhonga Bi, Wala Kumbes, Cheng Palamuli, Tong King Pa Nogonke, Tukning Tachukun, Nemole Rabes. given us a vision. There is great danger within the temple. We cannot let you face it alone. You might be walking into a trap. Maybe Malak himself is waiting inside. Even if he isn't, that temple will be crawling with dark Jedi. You'll need all the help you can get. Mocha, Hautonga, Yabuki, Kachi. 
Francesca, Punta Casa Bubaca, Banaboto. I don't know what he said, but it sounds like your guide's being stubborn. We don't have time for this. The Republic fleet is on the way and we're stuck on this planet until we deactivate that disruptor field. You have to convince him to get us inside that temple. Why do I get the feeling this is going to take a while? Still, we better stay ready. As soon as those shields go down, we have to get inside the temple. Lord Malak, the preparations are nearly complete. Every day, the Star Forge adds more ships to our fleet. It is operating at nearly 300% of our projections. The fleet is assembling around the Star Forge and awaits your instructions. Patience, Commander. My new apprentice is nearly ready. Once Bastula joins her battle meditation to our enormous fleet, we shall be invincible. Then we shall begin our final conquest of the Core Worlds and the Republic will be crushed forever. As you wish, Lord Malak. You know the penalty for... Revan, you are back. Malak told us what happened to you. The Jedi Council has stripped you of your power. You are a shell of what you once were. You are not fit to rule the Sith anymore, Revan. Darth Malak will reward us greatly for destroying you. 
Malak told us you still lived. At last, a challenge worthy of my skills. I grow so bored with slaughtering these mindless training droids. I intensified my training tenfold in hopes I would get the chance to face you in mortal combat. I am glad to see my training has not been in vain. mean well enough, but my private affairs are just that. Private. Let me tell you something. Once you've lived as many years as I have, you'll have yourself a long, long list of memories. If you're lucky, most of them will be good. If you're not, some will be bad. If you're really unlucky, some will be so bad you never want to be reminded of them again, ever. You'll go far away, to a place that doesn't hold any memories at all. And there you'll be happy just to forget and be forgotten. <laughs> Partly, maybe. 
I doubt I could ever explain it to you fully, even if I wanted to. Let me ask you this. Have you ever been in love? Truly in love, I mean, and not simple infatuation. Exactly. You're still at the beginning of your life. There will be women in your life, perhaps many women. But if you're fortunate, you'll find love once. The Jedi, with their damnable sense of over-caution, would tell you love is something to avoid. Thankfully, anyone who's even partially alive knows that's not true. Love doesn't lead to the dark side. Passion can lead to rage and fear, and can be controlled. But passion is not the same thing as love. Controlling your passions while being in love, that's what they should teach you to beware. But love itself will save you, not condemn you. Uh, listen to me go on as if I had all the answers. What do I know of love anymore? I'm just a lonely old man who's not even a Jedi. You do, do you? I wouldn't listen too closely. I'm no authority on anything. I just think that the greatest things in life shouldn't be avoided because they come with a few complications. Love causes pain, certainly. Inevitably, love is going to lead to as much sorrow and regret as it does joy. I suppose there are perfect eternal loves out there, but I haven't seen any. And how do you deal with a bad part of love is what determines your character. What determines the dark side's hold over you. I haven't changed my mind. I'm still not going to talk about it. You go and find your own love if you want to know so badly. I'll tell you one thing. Sometimes, no matter how hard you try, you and the one you love simply aren't meant to be together. The trick is to know when that is. To know when it's time to fight and when it's time to part ways. <laughs> there I go, waxing philosophical again. Somebody blast me already. Let's get going before I start talking in riddles, damn it. No problem. Got it. Let's play with the old man's head, is it? Thank <laughs> you. 
Didn't work. Yang gengkung nombak, mulai rancikong. 
Tom hai tu un conci, ne bo bo že mata, ne pom naž, dol pe ki kljuna. Rondi hao donga ku honga bi, wala kum bes, čeng pa la moli ton king ba no konke. Tuk nim ta čokun, ne moli ra bes, ton hai vam čiđi juma lipca ad inko tu. Toto da vam hvalja grando de naga čočok, ka čičo ita au donga. Juma lita inko tu. Želo moran beni bobo. Wango kum bis kan ba molera, takom džostak miki grabl mogo. Ka čičo ita au donga. Tom pa te bom hvalja grando de nago čočo. Moga šaponka, bolo vana čekne. Pa moli slimo podana vanga kum bis molera bes. Ka čičo ita ho tonga, jim kim kuno ba muli ra čikun. Slimo kutuna, vande ha tonga ku honga bi. Tonga hai vam čiđi juma lipca ad inko tu. Tolko da vam gualia gando de naga čočo, ka čičo ita au tonga. Juma lita inko tu, želo moral beni bobo. Vango kum bis kan ba muli ra, takom džostak miki grabl mogo. Ka čičo ita au tonga. Tom pa te bom hvalja gando de nago čočo. Moga šaponka, bolo vana čekne. Pa muli slimo porana vanga kum bis mule rabest. Takom džostak miki grabl mogo. Ka čičo ita au donga. Tom pa te bom hvalja gando de nago čočo. Moga šaponka, bolo vana čekne. Pa muli slimo porana vanga kum bis mule rabest. Tom hai vam čiđi juma lipca ad inko tu. Tolko da bom hvalja gando de naga čočo, ka čičo ita au donga. Juma lita inko tu, želo moral beni bobo. Vango kum bis kan ba molera, takom džostak miki grabl mogo. Ka čičo ita au donga. Tolpa te bom hvalja gando de nago čočo. Ton hai vam čiđi juma lica ad inko tu. Tolko da bom hvalja gando de naga čočo, takom džostak miki grabl mogo. Ka čičo ita au donga. Ton pa te bom hvalja gando de nago čočo. Moga šaponka, ton hai vam čiđi juma lica ad inko tu. Ton pa te bom hvalja gando de naga čočo. Ka čičo ita au donga. Juma lita inko tu. Takom džostak miki grabl mogo. Ka čičo ita au donga. Ton pa te bom hvalja gando de nago čočo. Moga šaponka, ton hai vam čiđi juma lica ad inko tu. Tolko da bom hvalja gando de naga čočo, ka čičo ita au donga. Takom džostak miki grabl mogo, ka čičo ita au donga. Ka čičo ita au donga, jim kim kuno ba muli ra čikon. Slimo putona, vande au donga ku honga bi. Ton hai vam čiđi juma lica ad inko tu. Tolko da bom hvalja gando de naga čočo, ka čičo ita au donga. Juma lita inko tu, želo moran beni bobo. Vango kum bis kan ba molera, takom džostak miki grabl mogo. Ka čičo ita au donga. Ton pa te bom hvalja gando de nago čočo. Moga šaponka, bolo vana čekne. Pa muli slimo porana vanga kum bis molera bes. Rondi hao donga ku honga bi, wala kum bes, čeng pala moli ton king ba no konkek. Tuk nim ta čokun, ne moli ra bes. Takom džostak miki grabl mogo. Ka čičo ita hao donga. Ton pa te bom hvalja gando de nago čočo. Moga šaponka, bolo vana čekne. Ba moli slimo porana vanga kum bis moli ra bes. Rondi hao donga ku honga bi, wala kum bes, čeng pa la moli ton king ba no kum king. Tuk nim ta čokun, ne moli ra bes, ton hai vam čiđi juma lipca ad inko tu. Tolko da vam hvalja gando de naga čočo, ka čičo ita au donga. Juma lita inko tu, želo moral beni bobo. Wango kum bis kan ba moli ra, takom džostak miki grabl mogo. Ka čičo ita au donga. Ton pa te bom hvalja gando de nago čočo. Moga šaponka, bolo vana čekne. Pa muli slimo porana vanga kum bis mule rabest. 
Tongai kwam kiki yuma lipta ag inko tu. Topo da bon gualia gando de naga chocho, ka chicho ita au longa. Yuma lita inko tu. Jelo moral beni bobo. Wango kum bis kamba molera, ta kum jostak miki grabl mugo. Ka chicho ita au longa. Topo da bon gualia gando de naga chocho. Moga chaponka, bola wala chekne. Pa mulis limo pora na wanga kum bis molera best. Kachicho ita hotonga. Yin kin kuno ba bulira chikun. Slimo putona. Ronde hotonga kuonga bi. Tonghai wam chiki yuma lipta ag inko tu. Toko da bong wali agando de naga chocho. Wita na tanya yeta. Wata yama ka wama po kakne. Ashwak to rong umne patoga. Wana kumbis chikumala mul tonki. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Thank <laughs> you. 